in this lesson I want to talk about the use of functions within PHP and how to identify them and to be able to do a little bit of research on them because there are just so many of them within PHP and I can't cover them all in the lessons that we're going to have. I will be using quite a few different functions throughout the lessons and we can kind of understand how to use some of them. However, let's go ahead and get started at least being able to identify what a function looks like and I've already used functions before in the past lessons but I'm going to go ahead and use one here called count and you can see when I type in the keyword count it turns blue. Uh, it's, a, it's something that's special that PHP recognizes and it's a function and all functions within PHP have the parentheses after them. So that, what, that is what makes it easy to identify within PHP is the parentheses. Anytime you see the parentheses after a word it's going to be some kind of function that has code that's already been pre-written within PHP to, be act to actually perform some kind of action. So this count is designed to do something specifically and if I don't know what it is then what I could do is I can save it here now within WAMP that I have installed it makes it kind of easy for us to do a little bit of research in fact if I refresh my page you can see that I've got an error it says warning the function count expects at least one parameter and zero have been given and it tells me what line the problem is on which is line 12 now what that means is a parameter is something that goes in the parentheses some kind of code or some kind of object or some kind of um, attribute that's part of the function itself and so there are a lot of things that may go within a particular function and since there's only one parameter then it's going to be asking for at least one thing and now if you have multiple parameters they're comma separated however let's go ahead and figure out what the count function needs within WAMP it gives me a little link here which is kinda nice because if I hover over it you can see the URL that's at the bottom of the screen that appeared is just the php.net slash count and if I click on it it's going to open up a new page here it's going to focus in on the count function itself so let me go ahead and just maximize that page and we can see what we've got here to work with we talk about the count function it tells the different levels of PHP that it belongs to and here's what it does it counts all the elements in an array or something within an object and so I can use this for my array you can see they talk about the different parameters here and some of the things that it does while you're working with it and some uses of it. So PHP.net gives a lot of uh, references to look at whenever you're working with a particular function or anything else that you're working with. And they give you the search so you can search for things. If you wanted to see a full list of functions, you could always go to the function reference and it will give us categorized uh, areas to start looking for particular functions within the language. I'm going to go ahead and close out of that because I don't need to right now and let me go back to dragging that over there we go so here we are back on our page that we have the error on so what is a parameter or what needs to be put into the particular function well it needs to be the array itself and you can see that I've got the dollar sign states and so if I type in dollar sign states and I go ahead and hit save and I'm going to go ahead and refresh it you can see that it returned back a 5 so the function what the, the purpose of this particular function was to go through and count all of the elements within the array and then return back a number to represent how many elements were in that particular array and so that was what the code was designed to do and it's what it did for us here now why this is a useful function here for arrays is because let's say I did want to have a list of all 50 states that I'm working on here for the United States when I get to the end of the list I could easily run an echo statement for the count function on my particular array and see how many of them I have in memory and basically what that'll tell us is if I've missed any because I should have 50 there in this case I'd have 51 because the first part of my element has nothing in it so it would say 51 and if you count here I've got one two three four five five different uh, elements here within my array and this would actually be index four it would start off zero one two three four so one thing to keep in mind using this function is it tells you how many elements are in the array it doesn't tell you the index spot of the array and so you can see we turn back to the five so this particular lesson was to try to get you introduced into looking at functions and start understanding what what, what the function is and how to identify them and just to reiterate you can easily identify the function of course because of the keyword that turns blue then then on top of that you'll see the parentheses used within the functions and then the parameters of a function are what's in between those parentheses that make the function or, or it's what the function needs in order to run its code in order to produce some kind of result so this will conclude the video on the use and identifying of functions on the next video we're going to look at creating our own function